Recent research shows that the sperm count in men have dropped by 50% over the past 50 years. Yes, the average volume of sperm from one ejaculation has also majorly decreased. This has led to an increased problem with conceiving children due to poor quality and low motility of sperm in men. Hi, I'm Dr. Arkady with Rebalance, and please don't worry, you can easily fix this with just this natural products. And yes, all of this is confirmed by scientific research, which I will show you a bit later. It is very important to know that the quality of your food directly affects the quality of your sperm. Also, how we live, whether we move enough or not, whether we play sports or not, whether we drink enough water or not, this also affects either improves or worsening the quality of mobility, motility, and quality of our sperm. So what is the first thing that greatly affects the quality and quantity of the sperm? This is the thing without which nothing living can exist on Earth. Imagine a tropical forest where thousands of different plants grow and they all strive to grow taller, to get more of that. That's right, more sunshine. But we often forget about this in everyday lives. We spend little time in the sun. This negatively affects our sperm production because we can develop a deficiency of essential vitamin D. It is known that this vitamin is very easily produced by our skin naturally under the influence of UV lights of the sun. Research shows that vitamin D plays a role in sperm production. And you may ask, why is it so important? Well, because it helps in some of the most vital functions. For example, regulating calcium levels, which are important for sperm production, or supporting hormone production in the testicles. And it also acts as an antioxidant to protect sperm from damage. But what do we do if we have a low vitamin D levels? Well, you can get enough dosage in two different ways. As I said, the best way to get vitamin D is through exposure to sunlight. Aim for at least 20 minutes of sunlight exposed per day without sunscreen. But we cannot always get enough sunshine, especially during the winter or if we live in the areas with little sun. Well, then certain foods rich in vitamin D can definitely help. Foods like fatty fish, salmon, sardines, mackerel, tuna, egg yolks, milk, cereal, and oranges as well, full of vitamin D. And don't forget vitamin D supplements. I personally take vitamin D daily basis supplement that created by Orthomolecular Products. You can order the supplement from my website. The link is in the description below. The next fact is that the semen volume is primarily made out of fluids, which is water being a major component. When you are dehydrated, your body prioritizing essential functions and fluid production, including semen, might be slightly reduced. While less water for the mixture can lead to decrease in the overall semen volume. In 2014, a study published on the human reproduction found a link between the low fluid intake and decrease in semen volume in healthy young men. So how can we quickly hydrate our body? Well, it's quite easy. Number one, you have to avoid dehydrating drinks, such as sodas or sugary juices, because they high in sugar content, they pull the water out of the cell to dilute the sugar in your bloodstream. Another big one is alcohol. Alcohol is diuretic, meaning it can increase the urination and can lead to dehydration. Limit the alcohol consumption and alternate with water when you're enjoying your drink. Try to drink something that hydrates us, like water. Aim for about eight glasses or two liters of pure water daily as a baseline, but adjust based on activity level and the climate. Unsweetened tea. Contrary to popular belief, moderate amount uh, around two cups of unsweetened tea can contribute to hydration. However, be mindful of the diuretic effect and increase urination in high dose of tea. Many fruits and vegetables like watermelon, cucumber, celery, and tomatoes are packed with water 
and can add to your water intake as well as the mineral and vitamin intake. And by the way, you can easily check if your body is adequately hydrated. Aim for pale yellow urine. Darker urine indicates dehydration, while clear urine might suggest excessive hydration. In 2012, study published in Fertility and Sterility, with about 1,100 participants found the link between the highest sperm motility and men with a diet rich in omega-3. Researchers have found that omega-3 improved the sperm motility through the following factors. Sperm has a protective outer layer called membrane. Omega-3 helps the membrane to become stronger and more flexible. This can make sperm more better, which is significantly improves the fertility. Another thing, omega-3 helps to keep the testosterone in balance, which can help sperm to grow well. Sometimes harmful molecules called the free radicals can hurt sperm. Omega-3 acts like a bodyguard protecting the sperm from these harmful molecules and keep them safe. You can get omega-3 fatty acids from a variety of foods, including fatty fish, such as salmon, mackerel, tuna, uh, herring, sardines, anchovies, flaxseed, and flaxseed oil, chia seeds, walnuts, they're all great products. In my practice, there have been cases when the guy had everything fine according to the previous points, but they had gastritis, erosion, or an ulcer that affects the absorption of nutrients in the gastrointestinal tract. Due to the poor absorption, they had iron deficiency, and iron, as known, participates in the production of erythrocytes, which carry oxygen to our cells. Therefore, a sperm was not produced properly and did not survive due to the lack of oxygen as the body was working on the other important needs. So if you have an ulcer or gastritis, it may be worth checking if your iron levels are normal. And if not, you should first take care of the health of your gastrointestinal tract and also add food rich of iron to your diet. Now, you can get iron from a variety of foods, which can be broadly categorized into two types based on how the body uh, absorbs the iron. Heme iron, highly absorbable. Red meats, such as beef, bison, uh, lamb, pork, excellent sources for heme iron. Liver is particularly rich in iron as well. Chicken, turkey also contains heme iron, although slightly lower amounts than the red meats. Non-heme iron, less absorbable. Leafy green vegetables, spinach, kale, and uh, some other greens are packed with iron. Beans, lentils, and chickpeas, tofu, they're all great sources for non-heme iron. Again, less absorbable, but still works pretty well. Pumpkin seeds, cashew nuts, almonds contribute also to iron. Now, if you're confident that your iron levels are fine, then it's worth paying attention to your testosterone levels. Now, it's a well-known fact that if your testosterone levels are not normal, meaning low, the body produces less sperm. Of course, testosterone levels are influenced by many factors, but I want to introduce to you a comprehensive review published in 2017 that examined that one of the factors that simultaneously affected testosterone levels and the sperm quality was zinc. Now, zinc contributes to various processes. Zinc is necessary for proper function of the enzymes involved in the testosterone synthesis. Testosterone is a key hormone that influences sperm production. Zinc is involved in the maturity process of the sperm within the testicles. Zinc helps to maintain the integrity of the sperm, of the sperm cell membrane. The next logical question is, foods are full of zinc. Where can we get zinc outside of just supplements? Well, oysters are the best choice. But if you don't like seafood, like oysters, you can also find zinc in red meat, beans, lentines, as well as pumpkin seeds. Another mineral that helps to improve testosterone levels uh, and at the same time, the quality of the and quantity of the sperm is selenium. This mineral specifically affecting the quantity of sperm and the motility. 2009 study published in Fertility and Sterility found that selenium supplementation improved the semen parameters in infertile men 
with low semen levels, including some uh, improvement in the semen volume as well. The best food source for the selenium is actual Brazilian nuts. Just one to two Brazilian nuts can improve your daily recommended intake of selenium. The other good food source of selenium, including seafood, such as tuna, halibut, and shrimps. Meats, such as pork, chicken, eggs, sunflower seeds, and so on. Now, in addition to food products, several studies show that certain herbs can help to increase the volume and quality of your sperm. For example, 2014 study showed improvements in sperm count, motility, and the semen volume after only three months of ashwagandha supplementation in infertile men. 2017 study found that the fenocreek supplementation improves sperm count, motility, and testosterone level in men. Adding these amazing products and supplements to your diet is a great idea, but it will be in vain and wouldn't work if you consume too many of these harmful products that I'm talking about in this video. Watch it now to improve your erection and the quality and quantity of your sperm.